I'm Nat, and this is James. For over two years, we've been sailing the world aboard our floating home, Zephyr. Someone once said that every person can transform the world to one of excitement and adventure. Follow our adventure by clicking the subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. Become a patron by clicking the patron logo. You will get early access to weekly videos, exclusive content, and much more. My baby, I don't cover that I die for you. This week, we find ourselves on the flat, uninhabited island of Klein Curacao. Klein Curacao measures three square kilometers and is located five nautical miles southwest of Curacao. It is completely uninhabited, but in the past, lighthouse watchers as well as fishermen lived here. But before we continue, let's rewind. We've missed the amazing sail over. Well, we wish. More like Zephyr took a beating into the wind and waves, but hey, we did have some dolphins nearly the whole way. Once the anchor is set, we jump in the dinghy and head to land. You said it's a promise. I said that I doubt that I'm your only reason to stay. Darkness has wrought me. In 1877, there was a big hurricane that completely destroyed the original lighthouse. After the hurricane, a new lighthouse was built, this time in a more central spot. We are in Klein Curacao. It's really cool. It's very flat and um, it's about 50 nautical miles from Spanish water where we were this morning. So we did a quick motor over here because um, we were dead in the wind and the waves. And uh, yeah, we anchored up, free mooring balls. You gotta pay for an anchor permit, but uh, it's only 25 bucks for three nights. And it is incredible. The diving's incredible, the snor snorkeling. We're checking out this old lighthouse, which uh, I don't think they use anymore. And there's like half a dozen wrecks uh, on the other side of the island here. We're gonna go check out. Apparently there's a really big cargo ship that's just been punished for years, so. It's the flattest island ever. <laughs> like you can literally see our, you can see Zephyr there in the back. Yeah. And look at it, I mean, it's completely bare. And the really cool thing about this lighthouse is that they've built this whole thing using the rocks from here, which is all coral. So it's all this calcium carbonate in here. You can see it, look. And they've used it to build the whole, well, at least this bit of structure and the other side out of coral, which is amazing. Very cool. Yeah. Lighthouses fascinate me. I quite like them. It's a pity you can't get all the way up to the top. Don't need an answer, just some kind of reply. Quite a few ships and other remarkable and unexpected guests have beached on Curacao over the years. In 1932, a crocodile was caught. It came all the way from Venezuela in a violent storm. This is the Maria Bianca Guidesman, stranded in 1988. The entire crew was able to leave the ship safely and completely unharmed. 
Story has it that the ship was parked there on purpose. This monohull was on its way to Curaçao using outdated charts that did not include Klein Curaçao. Unfortunately, they sailed straight into the island. All crew were unharmed, however, within 24 hours the boat was plucked clean of all boat parts, even the engine. Klein Curaçao used to be a paradise for seabirds until the 19th century. The droppings of these seabirds, i.e. guano, contained tricalcium phosphate. This product was very popular in the 19th century, used as fertilizers and cattle food. The island was mined for its phosphate, leaving Klein Curaçao completely barren. It is estimated that from 1871 to 1886, 90 tons of phosphate were extracted and then shipped to Europe. After a pretty horrendous rolling night at anchor, we decide to pull up anchor and head to a mooring closer to shore. Just enough clear, but we are, so we shifted the boat, so wavy, so we're coming closer, we've got a shoal keel, so we're a little bit shallower, and we've got about three feet under the keel, so we're perfect, only with 20 centimeter tide, so, beautiful water, and I just followed a turtle for five minutes, <laughs> well, we are still on Klein Curacao and we have the entire island to ourselves, which is incredible. I don't think we've been anywhere this beautiful and had it all to ourselves, so I no. we're pretty damn lucky. Definitely. I mean, look at that. Not a single boat. Oh, there's Brandon, paddle boarding. <laughs> okay, ready. Ready. Go. Oh, starting off strong. Oh, oh, is he gonna go in? This farmer meets up. <laughs> The next morning, after a long walk around the island and visiting Captain Jack Sparrow in his hut, we settle in for a morning of scurfing. Tell me how you feel about us. Yeah, yeah. Tell me how you feel about us. Yeah, yeah. 
with the fishing. Hey! Well, that was a very unsuccessful roll. Yeah. So that's the end of that. Back to the boat we go. Back to the boat. Wow, that's such nice light. The sun is literally disappearing. Oh wow, that is incredible, isn't it? Next week, we spend our last few days on the beautiful island of Klein Curacao. Kept going like a marching soldier Play my part, boy, I had to hold you down Hold it down When the tide waves come around We sure do try to make the most of these days before sailing downwind back to Curacao. Let her hold down When the world is everything No break us up for good Would you hang around We know we got right now Tell me how you feel about If you are new to our channel, consider subscribing so you can join the adventure each week aboard Zephyr. If you would like early access to weekly videos, bonus content and free merch, click the Patreon logo here. This journey is only made possible thanks to our amazing patrons.